say goodbye to all of this, this tasty little morsel. I know how you love all of this. Are you okay? No. That was like super dramatic. I loved it. Thank you. Do you want to come inside for a bit? Yes, please. Well, let's get you cleaned up. You don't have any food, do you? Oh my God, absolutely. Haven't you eaten today? Not really. <laughs> that is not good. I mean, I had a bowl of yogurt. Oh, well, that's nothing at all. And a protein shake. Right. Followed by some spaghetti bolognese and herb bread. Nice. With a side of marinated drumsticks and some Spanish wine, so... I guess I'm a little bit peckish. I think you're going to be absolutely fine here. Really? Hmm, well, entry level fine, but you're the perfect mixture of that last doe-eyed six-year-old boy looking for his mother in the supermarket while the store speakers broadcast the entire thing telling him to go to the help desk. I mean, he's six years old. How is he supposed to know where the help desk is? Oh, Simon, hi, Simon. Over here, come over here right now. <laughs> hey guys, what's happening? Oh, not much. This is Lewis. It's his first day. Oh, hey man, how's it going? Yeah, it's going good. Yeah, he's real fine. Anyway, we should probably get back to it. So many important things going on that we should probably get back to. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you, man. Yeah. You too, bye. Oh my god, that was so awkward. We slept together once at the pre-party, pre-party, post-party awards and now we're just like so awkward. I mean, you guys seem like super children. No, we can like talk to each other, but we can never like, you know, like talk to each other. Ooh. Tanya's second work phone. What? Are you serious? Uh, no. Yes, no and yes, potentially possible. A probable, perhaps, type scenario. Lewis, I need you to go to the grocery store and pick me up some unmentionables. Okay, cool. What are unmentionables? Well, if I mentioned them, they wouldn't be unmentionable now, would they? <laughs> and then she just left me on the side of the road, just drove off like I was nothing. You should have seen it. I did. It was roughly half an hour ago. I was so sick of putting all my eggs in one basket. Only leads to heartache, you know. Oh, 100%. It's like once you reach the age of 25, time just speeds the fuck up and you realise you can't waste it on dumb shit like that anymore. Totally. It's like the other day Britney Spears' Toxic came on mm. and I was like, can you believe this came out 14 years ago? Mm. Time is absolutely fucked. I mean, I think it would even be like 16 years ago now, right? Because it was released earlier for. this questionnaire. Hey, so um, I was just thinking about maybe leaving for the day, but I was just wondering if you had any feedback for me. Louis, great first day. I love the Enthusiasm. And, uh, yeah, and um, we're doing a pre-party pre-party for the upcoming post-party awards next weekend. Oh, I, I thought that happened last weekend. No, this is a different one. So we'll need you to be in charge with assisting me with my full set of duties. Now, obviously, I don't have the actual time to complete these errands, so we'll need you to do them all for me. I'm sending you the list right now. <clears throat> Great first day, Louie. I think you're really going to fit in here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so I, I was just wondering if maybe I could get some feedback or just anything I need to I need to work on. Anything I can take on board, like take home and think about. Here I'm committed, you know, and I, I want to do a good job. Bye. Hey, Slight. Hello. What's happening here? This is our new flatmate. Oh shit, did we find someone? Well, after a million dud flatmate questionnaires, I came across this one boss bitch and wait for it. Favorite music, 
Gaga, Whitney, Extina, Nikki. Um, stop it! Favorite movies: Death Becomes Her, First Wife Club, and Garden State. Oh, maybe ignore that last one. No. And favorite pastimes: Getting Weird AF with Haley Mills at the 20th anniversary of The Parent Trap. Okay, that movie was made in the 60s. How old is this person? Maybe she meant the remake. Well, I do love Lindsay, <laughs> and there were two of her in that. Oh yeah, she's here now. You put her to sleep in my bed. She's had a really rough day. Well, where am I supposed to sleep? Can you stop making a mountain out of a molehole? <gasps> well, why don't you put her in your bed then? Ew, I sleep there. <laughs> okay, well this is severely unideal. I'm just going to vibe with this for night because I work in the morning. <sighs> stop smiling. This isn't fun for me. You fucked up. You did this. Yeah, I found us a new flatmate. You're welcome. I mean, how much do we really know about Grace? Can you stop? She's chill. If she axe murders us in the middle of the night, I'm not going to be the one that said I told you so. She's not going to axe murder us in the middle of the night. You're being absolutely ridiculous. Well, you met her in the most bizarre way. I mean, what was all of that about? Can I just say that this whole thing is silly? And personally, I've been eating two-minute ramen for the past six days because I can't exactly afford a three-bedroom house in the middle of Cityville between two people. Also, I think I have scurvy. Like, the other day my back molar just fell out. It just fell out? Yeah, like, it didn't even hurt. It just fell out. Oh. So, while a teeny weeny, almost non-existent fraction of me sees where you're coming from, I'm literally dying to support this current living situation! Oh my god, okay, fine, Grace is cool, she can stay. Like, can we move on? Jesus Christ, it was so dramatic sometimes. Hey, sluts! <laughs> Whoa. Grace, you're here! So, how is everyone? Good. We were just discussing getting a ficus for the living room. Yes, it was a riveting conversation. I'm so happy we came to a conclusion. Oh. So, Grace, what are your plans for the rest of the day? Well, this, and then I'm going to the dentist. I haven't been in like 10 years. Do you know that Alex's back molar just like fell out the other day? It just fell out. Yeah, just fell out. Didn't even hurt. Weird. Maybe you can take him with you. Maybe when I can afford such a luxury. Well, in the immortal words of Mrs. Stephanie Joanne Germanotta, you're on the right track, baby. You were born this way. Ow! <laughs> what the fuck? That's not funny. Do you see anyone laughing right now? No, only you find you funny, okay? Grace, stop laughing. We don't know you. 